Good morning, Rock Church, my brothers and sisters on YouTube and Twitter. This is Pastor Robert Louis Stevenson, and it is Wanderous Wednesday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Wednesday, y'all. Come on now, get on up. I know, I know, man. I know, I know that did feel good to y'all this morning. It felt good to me, too. But the uh, Holy Spirit just wakes me up and prepared me to get me ready. Get me ready for what's to come. I'm going to pray and we'll get into our study series. Heavenly Father, we love you. We thank you. We desire, God, uh, to give you praise this day. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you, God. We may not all feel 100% physically. Maybe we got some stuff going on mentally. And maybe we're fighting just as hard to stay faithful spiritually. By the way, God, you saw fit to give us a new day this day. This day today, December the 28th, 2022. God, I'm not sure what all you have in store for us. But God, we open to say, come on in, Holy Spirit, order our steps and our stops. Whatever you have for us, we're going we gonna to lean into you, God. We're going to put our cares upon you. So open up our hearts, our minds. God, I pray that we all receive to this word. And God, may you be glorified because of the actions we take. In Jesus' name, let God's people say amen. Hallelujah. Good to see you all on this morning. We're diving right on in uh, part three of the purpose of Jesus Church. We're on part number three, brothers and sisters. Jesus said this in Matthew 18, 16, 18. I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I will build my church, my God. I will build my people. Hey, mm, mm, mm. nothing can hinder God's work when we accept the fact that Jesus is in control. You know, the church was designed, as we talked about, by God for his purpose and his principles and his priorities. And Jesus the builder of the church, and he is building it according to the set patterns and specific purpose of what God's will is that we find in the scriptures. So we've been looking at uh, the last couple of days, we, we, we unpack, you know, some of the purpose of Jesus' church, his people, his discipleship, is to edify. We looked at fellowship uh, yesterday, was to encourage, enlighten, and today we're going to look at worship to give him praise now as we see this found in the realm of word on this wonders wednesday acts 2 42 47 let's read it again they devoted themselves to the apostle teaching which is discipleship and edification and to the fellowship right the fellowship to encourage one another to the breaking of bread and prayer that is worship here it is what happened everyone's filled with all many wonders and miraculous signs were done by the apostles all the believers were together and had everything in the common selling their possession goods they gave to anyone who had a need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the faith of all the people. Watch this. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. Brothers and sisters, as we now look into the principle of worship, it is to glorify. Yeah. Yeah, God's church, God set this up. God set this up. Man has set this up. He wanted us to give God praise, give him worship. Brothers and sisters, to revere God. This is a part of what we do and why we should do it based on the scriptures. What is the purpose of worshiping together? Let's see. It is something that we're called to do. Yeah. But the beauty of this passage here. As I look at it, you know, they came together in a prayer and worship. It does something to us, though. We are called to do it, but it actually does something to us. And, you know, the beauty of our, our, as, I, as, I, as I get into the word of God more and more every day, I think about, you know, I sit down and I worship. And I'll be in different places in my faith at times. And it has something to do with if I worship first. 
See, if I go ahead and worship God, give some praise and worship before I study the Bible, oh my God, things open up in a different way. Now, I don't know how you do what you do, but I found out, man, this worship is so powerful. You always have to have a praise to raise. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. When you're praising God, you're releasing your gratitude. You say, God, I thank you. God, I, I thank you even that the conditions I am today it may not be fitting for me. I may not like it, but I give you praise the very fact that you gave me life today and breath. I gave you praise. I give you praise because you brought me from one place to another place. Day in and day out. That's what he does. And so when I looked at my commentary, it goes on and says, worship is where we come together, right? Unified in the body of Christ to celebrate God and what he's done for us. Now, you can worship alone, just you and God. I do it oftentimes down here. In fact, I've been up since 3.45 a.m. this morning. Oh, my God. I don't cut on TVs. I began to thank God, and I started asking the Holy Spirit, speak to me. Why is it that you all awake me up this early this morning? I'm wide awake. I feel good. I'm not even sleepy. And he started giving me downloads, right? The Spirit of the Lord started downloading in my mind. Now, brothers and sisters, the thing about this year coming up, like I understand we all celebrate the holiday season. I celebrate the holiday season after the holiday, actually. Because the work that I have to do is so much work preparing for the holidays and preparing for the new year to give the vision that God has given me for the church. For his church, the purpose of God's church is, man, I got to do what he says, right? For the people, we are the church, we are the people he set us up. And it's a beautiful thing because when I think about it, I think about why he wakes me up so early to prepare us. But here's the beauty. And then when you see it, and when I tell you what he has said, you see it come to pass every time. That in itself, I began to worship. Although it was so early this morning, I just started worshiping. Because I, I have enough data, and I've seen God do some powerful things. Will we just do what he says, how he set the church up? So worship is such an important part of your relationship with God, you and your, you, you by yourself in the Holy Spirit. And then, but yet corporate worship means so much when we come together and do it all at the same time. So because we all worship him based on what he's done and what he's doing and what he's gonna go and what he's gonna do in our lives. So worship should be all over us, right? So, so so here it is, here it is. So here's what God says about corporate worship that we should do together within his church, right? Not only do we do it when we by ourselves, but there's a mandate from, from a corporate perspective that we give worship. It is found in Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24 and 25 says this, and let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meeting to meet together as it is the habit of some, but encourage one another and all the day you see a day drawing near. Here it is. Now this is corporate. We got to come into corporate worship together. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got your you, you got your private worship and then you got your corporate worship, right? They go together. And so private and corporate worship is so important. He says, come on, when we when we come together, we stir each other up. Man, do you understand when we worship man, listen, man, listen, listen. When we are worshiping at the rock church together corporately, it stirs me up. I don't know about you. Man, people be there, they're raising their hand, they're praying, they're weeping, they 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 exalting God. Listen, you and I got to figure this out. We are going into the calendar year 2023. It is time for you to make a decision to get your corporate worship on. Now, this is important that we teach people that we're being taught. I am telling you, be committed to any time the assembly of the body comes together. I has been Wednesday or Sunday. Come to get your worship on. Now, brothers and sisters, I, I, I got to admit, I've blown it. I've blown it. I'm sorry. I've blown it. Rock Church, forgive me. I've blown it. I've blown it to the, in terms of on Wednesday, we don't even worship. I just do a Bible study. That's over with. <laughs> That's over with. Calendar year 2023, our first time meeting together on Wednesday, 
We're going to worship. We're going to fellowship. And we're going to get the word out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, 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 man, the Holy Spirit gave it to me this morning. He said, hey, you don't forgot something, son. You come in on Wednesdays. We set up. And you go do a Bible study. You ain't did no worship together corporately. What, 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 why you forgot that, Rob? I was convicted this morning. I am telling this to people. You're like, this is my church. You do my church the way I've set it up. I said, okay, you're right about it. Hey, y'all, I am. we're going to start worshiping at Rock Church on Wednesday nights. Get ready. In 2023, the first Wednesday is going to be worshiping forever. So we are coming together to worship. Anytime them doors open, we're going to have praise and worship. Okay, now, I've released my faith. Okay, I want to ask you, are you ready to release your faith now on this wondrous Wednesday, knowing that we should not never come to a place when we come to worship and not worship. We should always worship when we open up the doors of the church. Are you ready to worship? Are you ready to come on in? Because just the way God set the church up. So you're going to have to release your faith. How are we going to have to do that? Keep it simple, saints. I'm going to give you three benefits if we come together and worship together, number one, we're reaching God and telling him that we acknowledge him as our God, Jesus as our Savior, and the Holy Spirit is leading us as our counselor. Hey, that's right. That man, listen, Everybody else turning up, the world turning up, where they turn up, why we can't turn up for God? Hey, man, I'm telling you. The second benefit is it shows our desire to submit and obey Jesus church. This is God's will for God's people to come together corporately and worship. And number three, it brings us together as one family and fellowship to give him a high praise. How beautiful is that? So I God woke me up this morning, stirred my heart with conviction. And I just sat back and I looked at it and I said, oh my goodness, how did I have done the whole how do I do? How do I? How do I get to that place where I open up the doors of the church on Wednesdays and never worship? Something wrong with that picture, y'all. <laughs> I thank God for repentance because repentance is refreshing. If you have been in a place in your life where you just you have not been coming to your Wednesday night Bible study at your church, oh, get, let's get yourself together, 2023. Let's let's get yourself together. Let's get up and get yourself together and start coming to church on Wednesday. The doors open. That means the body of Christ. This is how God set it up. I ain't even set it up this way. In fact, I messed up some of his setup. <laughs> but I ain't going to mess up no more, y'all. I, I see because this is how he set it up. I hope this is helpful. As you begin to plan your 2023 New Year resolutions, let it be a resolve that you will never miss a church service ever again in person. As long as you got strength in your body and you were able to go, don't you ever miss another service because it's all about worshiping, giving him praise. Father God, we love you. We thank you on this wondrous Wednesday. Thank you for conviction. Thank you, God. That Jesus said, but I will build my church, my body, and the gates of hell should not prevail against it. He, he said it. And so, God, I pray that we, as we come together, to see that your church is set up by what you have designed it, how you have designed it. And I pray that we will start our way in to do what we're called to do. Forgive us. God, I, I thank you, God, for revealing to me how I blew it as your leader. And I led Rock Church in a place of non-worship on Wednesday nights. Forgive me, God. I thank you. You have. I feel the joy of the Lord all over that conviction. And God, I look forward to every Wednesday, every time our doors open, we will give you praise before we do anything from this day forward. And I pray that not only we do private worship, but we do public worship. May you be glorified, God. I thank you, God how you continue to help us to grow and learn your purpose of your church, not our purpose. May your will be done. And may we all come to a place of repentance where repentance is necessary. All to bring you praise and glory. 
May you be glorified in Jesus' name. Let God's people say amen. Y'all just been kissed. Come on, y'all. Keep it simple, saints. Look, I, I can tell you this. God is speaking, and he's already encouraged us what we should be doing. Make your true spiritual resolutions. And where we have to repent, do that. Because you'll never be the same as long as you follow the purpose of Jesus Church. I'm Pastor Robert Lewis Stevenson. I love y'all. I thank God for you all. Thank you for praying for me. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care of yourself.